guys, I don't think uh, you're really gonna see any of these like downsides of dieting down just yet. Um, maybe towards the ends of these two weeks you may, um, but you know, proceeding from there, you probably will and it's completely normal. So, you know, prepare yourself. Um, I like to prepare people psychologically for what's coming. It's nothing like dreadful, it's nothing crazy, like, oh my God, my life sucks, I'm not eating at all, nothing like that. You'll probably just see some dips in like energy, maybe like not wanting to work out so much. Maybe your workouts aren't that great, it's taking you a while to recover, the weights might feel a little heavier, that kind of stuff, all little things, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I always kind of tell people this when they're dieting down and they're at the end of this this cut phase for fat loss, is that maybe maybe you're like going to the grocery store and you're just like chronically looking for the closest parking spot. Right, you just your your body is communicating to you somehow subconsciously that you just don't really want to move a whole lot. Right, you're trying to find ways to cut corners so you don't have to expend much energy, and that that's a good that's a good one that a lot of people notice. And I myself, where I'm just like, all right, last two weeks of this like cut, I'm getting kind of miserable. It kind of sucks. I can do it. You know, I'm functional. I'm not like you know borderline going to the hospital or anything crazy. Uh, but my body really just doesn't want to move a whole lot and I'm trying to find this closest parking spot or just trying to find ways that I don't have to like move a whole lot, right? It's, it's, you're kind of in the hole, right? Um, and that's at that point, once you stick through that and we, and we end the diet, um, that's when we start to reverse you back to maintenance, right? And your maintenance reverse is going to be probably a few steps and then we'll be at maintenance for about, for about half to two thirds of the time of the duration of the cut itself. So if we diet you down for 10 to 12 weeks, uh, we'll reverse you back to maintenance where you'll stay for about probably five to six weeks before we do anything else, okay? So okay. when we look at it that way, let's say, you've already lost four pounds, so let's say that within uh, a 12 week dieting down period, you lose 12 pounds, okay? And then we reverse you back to maintenance and you gain four catastrophe, I'm gaining all my weight back, the end of the world, this sucks, right? No, you've gotten back to maintenance and your net loss within a dieting phase was eight pounds, right? And you're now maintaining that eight pounds lighter than you would have been through the development and education of nutritional habits, right? Right. So you hang out there and you're feeling good, you're gaining more muscle because you're, you're back at maintenance, your body's been demanding these extra calories and you're like, good Lord, this is awesome. You'll even see, there's a rebound effect there from that cut phase. When you start eating more, you, you get stronger, you grow more muscle, right? And now you're doing this with a little bit less fat on your body than you had previously. So let's say we go through that maintenance phase of say six weeks and then we start to cut down a little bit. This time, you're frustrated, you've only lost eight pounds, right? Well, your maintenance was lower this time though, right? You went into a diet being a lighter body weight, so it's, it's not really the number of pounds, it's kind of more percentage of your body weight that you've lost that matters, okay? So let's not get fixated on, I lost 12 pounds last time, I only lost eight this time, right? It doesn't matter, it's the, your, the percentage of weight that you lost compared to your body weight is what matters, okay? So you lose eight pounds this time, and then you reverse back, and then you, you gain three. Well, cool your net loss was five pounds, right? And now that we've done two dieting cycles with two maintenance cycles, if we consider that first one, the net loss being eight pounds, and then the second one, the second dieting phase, the net loss being five, well, you've now got what? Is that 13 pounds net loss from two dieting cycles that you're able to keep off forever? Because by that point, yeah, yeah, at that point, you develop habits and I've taught you how to do this forever, right? And remember, that's my objective with each and every client is for you to walk away someday with the skills, knowledge, and confidence to do this on your own. Mm. Cool, huh?